Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new intro to a new project pan that I'm very excited about. So this is the graveyard project pan as you guys have seen by the title and I am filming in a different location again. This is my bed, this is my bedroom, so and there is my vanity. So without further ado, if you guys are interested in watching project pan videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and press that notification bell. So last year when I watched people do this project pan, I was so intrigued, but honestly, I just did not have enough amounts of product to join in. But this year, I think I was comfortable enough choosing the products that I have. And I think I chose pretty good products that go with the theme of this project pan. So the graveyard project pan was created by Emily here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below as well as a playlist for everyone involved. And you guys can just binge watch everyone's video because that is what I will be doing. And I'm very excited for this project. And it starts on April 30th. I am a little bit late and it ends on October 31st, which is Halloween. So hence the graveyard theme. And I am so excited about this project. There is two different categories you can choose your products from. So we have the resurrect. We have the resurrection and we have collecting cobwebs. For collecting cobwebs, let's start off with that for myself. I chose three products for each category. And one more thing I wanted to add before I start with showing guys the products, it is that we will be doing updates every other month. Personally, I prefer every month, but I guess every other month shows you better progress and it's a bit more interesting. And yeah. Without further ado, let's just show you guys what I have. All right, guys, so for collecting cobwebs, these are products that we haven't used in a long time. And personally, I'm the type of person that if I have a product in a project pan, I just solely focus on that. And I kind of neglect every other product in my uh, collection. So that is why I wanted to choose some products that have not been getting a lot of love for me recently. And the first thing I wanted to choose was this Alme blush. So this is the Alme Smart Shade Powder Blush in the shade 20 Nude. And this is actually the first ever blush I got. This is pretty much probably six years old. So this is the oldest bl blush in my collection and my goal is to finish it off yesterday when i was looking at all of my products and i was trying out some stuff just to see if i like it enough to put into this project i actually hit pan i am not sure if you guys will be able to see this properly but there is a small little pan right in the middle i mean it's not that small but over here everything is so thin that i honestly think in two months i will get some really good progress on and i'm really excited to see how far i will be able to go with this blush so my goal is to finish this off completely and i don't think it would be that hard but i do really need to focus on it a lot for me to be able to achieve that goal and then the second product i wanted to work on was this the body shop shea lip butter and this has been in my collection for the longest time this is probably three years old. I know it's super old. So I have used this quite a bit. There's 6.8 grams of product and I think I'm halfway done. I'm not sure. I don't really enjoy using this as much. There's a lot of like grainy texture in it. So if I do want to get this out of my collection this year, I think the easiest way was for me to put it into a project pan. And sometimes whenever I feel super dry, some places I use this on those areas. So I don't solely use it on my lips. And I think that is one reason it could go down faster than usual. So yeah, my goal is to finish this off and hopefully by the end of this project, I will be able to get this out of my collection. Then last but not least for this category, I wanted to include a hair product. And this is my L'Oreal El Cive, um hair oil. <laughs> I don't know, it's in French. So this is what it looks like. I'm sure you have seen this in my collection. I have three of these backed up and actually I have two in my backup. I broke one. So this is my favorite hair oil. I am down here. I have not been using this for the past 
three months just because I have been using conditioner every time I go shower. I didn't used to do that before and I feel like my hair doesn't really need that extra moisture but you always need extra moisture so I want to be better about using my hair oil and I feel like the best way is to put it into a project plan just so it would be a constant reminder so my goal is to finish this off as well so for all of my collecting cobwebs i want to just finish off everything and then for my second category we have the resurrection product so these are products that were in project pans previously whether you didn't hit your goal on or you didn't finish off and most of these products uh i think i just I did hit my goal on but did not finish them off so let's start off with the smallest thing so this is a jar of my lip balm that I had used up and in my previous pan that palette last year I had a pink shimmer shade that I actually scraped off and put over in this container I don't want to tilt it too much <gasps> I think I just like poured some out. So I did uh, put some into this container just to travel with and this would have been my traveling highlighter and then I didn't use it up and I finished off that palette and this was just not at the, at the back of my mind to finish off. So I do want to finish this off completely and call it a day and get it out of my collection. It's a beautiful pink highlighter. I do really enjoy this but it's just like something I was working on for so long that I didn't want to work on any longer. My goal is to finish this off as well. I don't think it would be that easy just because you need the tiniest amount for this to highlight your cheeks. And then the next product I want to finish off is this, what is this? This is the number seven high shine SPF 15 lip gloss so this is in the shade tangerine twist and this is what it looks like so this was in another project pan but i cannot remember what it was it was last year my goal was to finish this off i took out the stopper and now it just looks super messy and goopy and honestly i cannot like put this in my pocket and go out just because it will um come out from the sides and this is something I can only apply when I'm home and I want to leave the house so my goal is to finish this off it's gonna be super hard because there's still a lot of products in here but I really want to get this out of my collection I really want to tackle my lip products this year although I'm very slow at using up lip products but I want to try my hardest to get rid of my oldest products or the ones that are close to being done and for the last product this is my Menekadar Beauty Single Shadow in the shade Fantasy. So we got this in an Ipsy a long time ago. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. So I use this as a highlighter and this was in another project pan and my goal was just to hit pan and I did do that. But I really, really love using this as a blush topper or as a highlighter. It's a super beautiful pinky shimmer shade and it goes really well with my skin tone i do really love this and i do really enjoy this i'm sorry about the lighting guys i'm sitting in front of a window but it just keeps you know so anyways my goal is just to use up half if possible this did break on me i had to repress it which is not ideal for me so i cannot travel with it anymore there's not going to be any traveling done anyways but still this is something I want to try to use a bit more. That's the point I want to get at. Just because I really enjoy this, I do not use it as much as I want to. I don't want to finish it off, which is really stupid, but I want to just tackle this product. All right, guys, so that was everything I wanted to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Write down any comments you want to you wanna and i will see you guys in my next video bye